Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your monthly reading for August 2023. This is for Sagittarius, Sun and Rising, and if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cult across spread. I also use astrology and my guides to help bring a lot more clarity, to get more specific and detailed with your reading, Sagittarius. I do this because I love you. I want you to feel like it's a personal reading, all right? As if we're here one-on-one -on -one, rather than a general spread. Lastly, I use astrology because it brings a lot more depth to your readings. Now, Sagittarius, this month is very different from June and July. It is a month where things are a little bit slower. It's giving you this opportunity to be laser focused in your career, all right? There's gonna be a lot of attention and focus in, in your career, okay? Even just, you know, everyday routines and habits and whatnot, so keep that in mind. Uh, one thing that's happening is the first things first. We have, uh, this, this month is very interesting, all right? There's two full moons. We're kicking off the month with a full moon in Aquarius, and then we're ending the month with a full moon in Pisces, so, uh, that's already like you know full moons bring closure all right and if i remember correctly from your last reading there's a lot of like moving forward letting things go uh so there is going to be a sense of closure now i did uh if you want to i did a video on a full moon aquarius uh for each sign what you can expect a little bit more fuller uh you know it, it for every sign okay and uh that should be members have access right now but that should go uh public for um on Saturday all right so uh, check that one out just to give you a little bit of an idea of what what you can expect around this first full moon uh, the other thing that's happening that's making this uh, month very interesting is that we have uh, half the solar system retrograde but Mercury's going retrograde all right Sagittarius that's gonna happen on August 23rd and then a few days later Uranus is going retrograde so basically the entire solar system will be retrograde at the, you know by the end of this month um it's they're all taking little naps they need their sleep too right um so i uh it's basically jupiter that's not rich jupiter and mars but jupiter's going retrograde next month anyway uh the reason why i don't want you to forget about this is actually good for you it's actually good this retrograde i like this retrograde period because things have been crazy the past few months there's been so many major aspects crazy big uh even like very very you know once in a lifetime or you know very uh infrequently uh happening aspects that uh have been happening all right so uh this is giving you a time to just take a deep breath really sit there and just visualize your future think really closely about your future remember retrogrades i say they can be a window to the past reassessing reevaluating rethinking things in order for you to move forward on your path to enlightenment on toward the things that you want uh the goals that you have for yourself now the other big thing that's happening is that uh with you know venus is is going to be retrograde all month and I did another video on that, but that's also a big thing as well. So there are things that are going to come to an end for y'all this month, okay, Sagittarius? And it's for, it's for everybody. Everyone's having this thing. But for you particularly, what I want you to know, Mars is very active. And Mars is having a lot of beautiful trines. And so is Jupiter, all right? So this is actually, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a slower month, okay? I think it's going to be a little bit slower the planets are retrograde um, but there's amazing aspects okay there's only about 15 aspects uh, compared to like the 30 and 40 a month that we've had like really crazy so uh, this with Mars Mars and Virgo and Mercury and Virgo by the way uh, this is a lot of attention on your 10th house your career okay your career sector and we're talking like Sherlock Holmes level we're talking like scooby-doo uh, inspector gadget okay Mulder and scully like you are going to be very like like really into it, like finding uh taking a lot seriously really finding all the details about like am i happy here what is what do i need to change what are the pieces that are missing that's going to be the energy for y'all okay for the first 
for the first half of the month. And remember, we have these beautiful trines, okay? So there's, it's almost like a good thing. It's, it's, it's a great thing, actually, for y'all. Remember, it, that's not uh, the 10th house, sure, career. But it's also, if you're not here for career, it's public recognition, it's fame, it's honors, it's achievements. So being recognized for how amazing you are, Sagittarius, okay? Whether, whether it's within your orbit, whether it's on, you know, a global scale, okay? Or even within your family. But here's the other thing is that uh, while this is happening, Jupiter is in your sixth house. OK, so Jupiter, this has everyday activities, your routines. All right. Uh, that includes work. It includes work. And there's a there's a Jupiter is just having a blast. The first two weeks of um, of this month, like you're going to feel it. It's going to be a thing. All right. It's going to be a thing. So uh, the other thing that's happening that I really want you to know about, um, other than the fact that this really is a month of just breakthroughs and uh, f uh, feeling free, feeling free. OK, from any pressure, anything that any challenges that you've been going through, uh, again, transformations, a lot of moments of transformation this month. The other thing that is uh, happening, you know, Jupiter and Saturn are super active. Oh, Mercury retrograde and Venus retrograde will overlap toward the end of the month. So really, like when I say this is a time where you're just reevaluating things like toward the end of the month, like you I feel like you're going to be in a completely different place by september uh and and it, it's hey it is a month of, of of breakthroughs okay so it's it's good changes it's great changes um the other thing that i'm gonna say is that uh you are amazing okay that's what i'm gonna say sagittarius let's go ahead and get started with your reading uh if you are new to my channel i do leave all the key astrological dates in the description box and remember after i do your spread for the month stick around i break it down week by week i break it down week by week i br i pull more cards i haven't even talked about the fact that we have a new moon in leo on august 16th that one's big that one's big so uh sagittarius let's go ahead let's get started uh see what's going on for you for august 2023 again this is for sagittarius sun and rising and uh if you want to read for your venus and your moon if you know your birth chart uh this is probably a month you may want to the moon obviously very active okay two full moons and a new moon and then we uh also uh, uh venus very very active this month being retrograde okay and then that new moon in leo right with with venus retrograde in leo so uh let's go ahead and get started sagittarius let's see what's going on for you for august Whew, 2023 i didn't take a i didn't take a single breath did i okay so Sagittarius, like I said earlier, I do a traditional cultural cross spread. Uh, really brings the best overview. If we need to pull clarifiers, we will pull clarifiers. Secondly, Sagittarius, you're amazing. Oh, the merchandise store is open. Oh gosh, I meant to say that. Uh, it's you know it 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 is open now. So uh, you can just it's right there. You can see it under all. You know it only shows you like a few options, but uh, there's there are there are like shirts and mugs and all that stuff specifically for sagittarians so i want you to see what i have for y'all there's old, like just sagittarius stuff so it's kind of cool so i want you to check it out um and all of the merchandise uh is based on your comments and your feedback so i hope you love it now let's get started i want to make sure you can see everything here this is going to be a month sagittarius you are going to like you're going through changes you're going through changes big ones big ones you see this you got the full okay you got the full uh yeah you are definitely starting this brand new cycle huge actually i would have to say huge it's a pretty big cycle that, uh, and then remember, we're coming out of the, the changing of the nodes, right? Your destiny, your life calling, it, it, it's, it's a big, big time. Everyone's going through this big shift in their life. It seems like you have begun something brand new, okay? This came up in your past, all right? The full, we're kicking off the full's journey, the hero's journey, your journey, right? Where, it, it, look at all that sunlight, all right? Full, when, I, when you see the full, I want you to see the full as F-U-L-L -L as well because this card brings fullness of life this is you know there's a lot of optimism opportunity 
innocence with this card. It is really, look at him, standing on the edge of the cliff, no care in the world, long hair, no care, right? Not even looking down. That's how much confidence he has in taking this, you know, leap of faith, all right? Taking this leap of faith, really moving forward with uh, uh, trusting in his intuition and the world around him, uh, in the universe, knowing that he's taken care of, okay? I love this for you. Y'all have started this new journey. This is crazy. Now, for a lot of y'all, it'll be relationships. Uh, this is really great. You got the uh, lovers in the heart of your spread. Very interesting that you got the lovers in the heart of your spread. Um, there's going to be uh, 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 changes for y'all this month. Uh, let's just let's let's get that clear, okay? Let's get that clear. Let's. Uh, I'm not beating around the bush now. Like this is changes, and for a lot of y'all, you know, I am getting a message. I, some of y'all uh, have already. You already know. This. It's like I don't even have to tell you that. Like you already know this, okay? Now. Here's a great thing, the lovers. Uh, it is, uh, you know, you see the full uh, uh, abundance of the sun behind them as well. So you're getting the sun again, like you're going from this full to the lovers, which I really love, okay? The sun, very powerful symbol in tarot, okay? It doesn't come out in every card, all right? So this is great, all right? Optimism, vitality. Now you see Archangel Raphael, all right? The healer. He's blessing these two. Let's call them Adam and Eve now, all right? So uh, it's up to them. He's the one that's blessing them, this love. It's up to them to decide what to do with that, okay? So for a lot of y'all, yes, it will be relationships, making this decision in relationships and partnerships. Now, I don't want you to uh, limit it to, you know, love uh, in terms of, like, uh, domestic uh, partnerships. This is also career-related, too, so it can have an impact if you are here for career uh partnerships relationships uh and i don't want you to think that uh there are going to be anything like basically this is this is you okay this is you going through and remember this is a monthly reading not a weekly reading so this is the month of august you going through uh some moment where you are going to have to make a decision okay and for some sagittarius sagittarians it's not, you know, I feel like, again, it's, it, for some Sagittarians, it's not going to be a big deal. It's going to be like a 2 out of 10. But for some others, you may feel it a lot more, okay? And so what I want you to know, this is, it's a card of choices. What are you going to do with that love, all right? What are you going to do with that love in terms of partnership? Again, work, career, uh, uh, what kind of, what resonates with you, okay? Or, or love, right? Um, the other thing is, when I say this is all about you, I'm going to show you something here. Look at Adam. Adam is looking at Eve, right? Now, look at Eve. Eve is looking at the archangel. So that really is like Trinity at play here, okay? When I say this is you, this is you, that's conscious, subconscious, super conscious, okay? This is a cycle within itself. This is mind, body, spirit. This is you, all right? You and the decisions that you're going to make this month. Now, one thing I also want to make very clear here is that uh, I want you to uh, remember what I said. This is a month to like, it's like breakthroughs and freedom. I want you to feel empowered with whatever decision you move forward with, okay? It's, it's coming from the heart. I want you to feel empowered doing that. Uh, you can see the mountain in the background here, okay? How are you going to see this mountain? Are you going to see it as this big challenge? Are you going to be afraid? Are you going to be like, oh my gosh, that's a huge mountain. Uh, I don't know if I want to do it. Um, are you going to be well equipped? Like, are you, are, you, are you going to wear Tevas climbing this mountain, right? Or are you going to like, you know, you're going to be prepared for these moments, okay? So, and then thirdly, are you going to be really excited? You want to be excited. You want to say, Look at that mountain. That's no, no sweat off my back. I've I've done Everest. I've done you know I've done the uh, even the, the 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 playground mountain that my I take my kids to. It didn't even matter. A mountain's a mountain. Like it's just for you. This is all obviously like symbolically or whatever. But whatever this choice is. Uh, for some Sagittarians, it could be something like a little bit more significant. For some, it just may be like, oh, this is, uh, yes, of course, I am, I am going to be proposing. Or, oh, of course, I am going to sign on this new client at my work. Or, yes, of course, I'm going to. So, again, it's going to be different for all Sagittarians, but there is going to be some sort of uh, big 
choice that you have to do okay now with venus retrograde uh that's also going to be some of y'all will be leaving uh partnerships and relationships but again for ex for that's not serving you well all right that's not serving you well um so keep that in mind it's going to resonate differently for all sagittarians um uh, keep that in mind now the other thing is you did get the emperor you got the emperor in uh your challenge area so the very first message that is coming up is that there is someone who is really not oh it's like there's it's almost like a power struggle and it may have been happening for a while with someone that is just a very uh let's just say intense authority figure all right and it doesn't have to be a, a male uh it can be it's just masculine energy right but i mean most likely could be a male but uh it's just someone that may that there's a lot of back and forth or maybe like uh this is why you have to go to a partnership because their uh, energy is so intense and uh there's uh, kind of like abusing their power in some sense now the other thing is it could be you sagittarians yeah it could be you that uh uh not that i'm saying you're abusing your power but it could be you that are in in a partnership where you feel that you are the complete opposite okay where you don't have a lot of power where you don't have a lot of control and that confuses you and it makes you think like why am i you know why do i have this client who is always so demanding and i always get you know a little like nervous and anxious getting on a call with them and or during the zoom call all they do is like uh they're just really aggressive and uh, abusive and toxic like why am i i don't need this client once i get rid of this client a new one's going to come through and this new one's going to be amazing right so think about that all right i want you to think about that but uh there's also you know uh there also could be some looking at your entire spread here actually there also could be uh yeah there is definitely uh i'm gonna tell you two things there's someone holding you back or something holding you back or there's uh person or whether it's work career love or anything you know just ask yourself where does it re resonate in your life that's like kind of like holding you back uh secondly there's uh there could be some of y'all's like dads are not approving some of your choices that may be a thing this month um or even just like a father figure okay now you did get the five of pentacles with the three of swords all right so uh, you got the five of pentacles in your crown. So yeah, you're, you're, I mean, you're, you're going through it this month. You're going to be in your head a lot and you're going to be in your head a lot. And it's going to, uh, for a lot of y'all, it will be your, uh, career. It's going to be your, uh, passions as well. It could also just really just be you on a spiritual level. Okay. Uh, especially because, you know, you did get the lover's card in the heart of your spread and when you think about venus retrograde and leo that is your ninth house is spirituality your belief system um there even if you are uh in education in some way there could be some activity around that or if you're trying to learn something uh it's it's it, there may be some sort of uh disconnect at this point but either way with the five of pentacles in your crown it seems like there is um, some sort of loss that may have happened that you're still thinking about. There could be something that is also, uh, it's, okay, so this is a card of severity. When, when you think about the tree of life, the fifth, the sphere, the sphere, we'll call it sphere. Uh, so it, it's, it's not an easy, it's not an easy card okay and it's really dark and it's you know it's not physically dark but what makes it really dark is that it's snowing okay and so the two uh, uh helpless people here uh they're not wearing any shoes so that makes it not only dark but dark and cold so it's in your crown and this is uh saying that you may feel like you're going through this period where uh there's so many changes happening so many things that you didn't expect happening as well uh the so many and almost like i'm getting an energy of pressure did i mention that earlier i i think that i i should have i think i did but 
energy of like pressure there's pressure around something but in any case uh some of y'all are thinking about some sort of loss okay and it could be like financial loss and it could be you know loss of a job i mean remember there's a lot of focus on your career for a lot of y'all okay and or just passions or you know things that you want to achieve right now all right and there could have been some sort of loss uh but you're focusing on the loss okay you're you're focusing on the loss uh uh and that is something that you probably should not do do not do that focus on you know what you're going to gain focus on what you're going to gain from this loss all right you never want to you know you want to flip your mindset and you know i'll even clarify that for you yeah you're going to be focus on the game look at you just got the page of cups you're i mean focus focus on the game all right focus on what you're gaining uh page of cups this is someone who all he wants to do is follow his bliss you know this is the messenger you know cups are all about emotions and feelings even relationships so um yeah uh hey if there's a partnership that's been a little like oh and you're just like i think i need a know that you're going to be fine you got the page of cups clarifying the five of pentacles okay um that's going to be it could also just be like employers if you own a company or something there's maybe someone that you have to let go or someone that actually did like quit and now you gotta like it was like your favorite employee but in any case uh i actually i mean i love this i i i really do i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie uh, a lot of y'all will feel it with family as well. Um, maybe someone just stops talking to you. There was like a big fight, but in any case, here's the thing: you're 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 gonna if if you're focusing on, you know, the low frequency energies around that, it's gonna be harder to move forward. You have to think about like the gains that are gonna come from this, okay? And you see that you're gonna be fine, right? You got the guy who is. Uh, he wears his heart on his sleeve. You know, when the Page of Cups comes up, it really is pages usher in that new change, all right? And so this is a very auspicious card. You're going to be fine. You're going to be good, all right? Uh, and then here, you got the Three of Swords, okay? And the root of your spread. So this month, there is definitely something that is happening that's not like... Uh, it's it's going to have an emotional impact on you, all right? It's going to have an emotional impact impact on you uh but again it's you're gonna have to focus on moving forward you're gonna have to focus on moving forward uh focus on the gains focus on the gains uh this can be a very emotional month for you but you know the three of swords this is actually you know uh when you and i clarifying it you got the ten of wands so you know you're fine you're gonna be good um this is just saying that there is definitely something that's going to be hard for you to do uh, in terms of like a decision that you have to make, uh, hey, it could even be the fact that you worked at you know the same company for ten years and now you're moving, and now you're moving, you got a better job, you got, and now it's like uh, that's the hardest decision you had to make because now you're you know moving to Alaska, uh, you know, but you have but you get to bring your family and you get to like do you know what I mean like it's there's got to be like some big thing a choice you have to make and uh, but. You see that you got three swords clarified with the ten of wands here. I mean, you're this is like you've worked hard. You've worked really hard. Okay, so don't don't take it. it just it, it, be proud of yourself. Be proud of yourself for getting at the point where you're at now. All right. Again, there's a lot of career energy here. I'm not gonna lie. This is a big, big, big thing of career. Okay. Um, and then you got the moon. So, you're definitely, this is going to be a very emotional month for you. All right, Sagittarius? Uh, keep your energy levels high. Do everything you can to, you know what I do is like, even in like really tough situations, really challenging situations um, that I sometimes, uh, because everyone does that, right? Like if there's something really hard that happens, uh, something really challenging that happens I always have to like uh, I look at it as like I flip my mindset and I pretend I'm in a Saturday Night Live skit okay I know that sounds really weird try it it makes whatever is really challenging 
it makes you realize, hey, life is not a Disney movie. These things happen, and I am not going to let this situation control how I feel, okay? So whatever you have to do, do it. If it's if things get too emotional, because you know you did get the five of of uh, pentacles in your crown, uh, you did get the three of swords in in the root of your spread. So there is going to be a little bit of heartache, but it looks like it's going to be uh, career related or you working toward your passions or whatever you've been investing in. Okay, you see that you know this is ten is the end. All right, ten is the end of the suit. So again this new beginning coming after this it's just like get to a point where you recognize these emotions okay that's what i want you to do all right you see even here he's working so hard that he can't even see where he's going all right and so a lot of this is being fueled by like something that's really uh, emotionally impactful all right and so a lot of y'all could actually be distracting yourself from you know like the bigger picture or from even like you know uh uh facing some uh, uh challenging moments or low energy frequencies like fear and stress or whatnot just like him like he i like it he can't see where he's going right so uh take that moment if there is anything that is challenging this month you know what i said earlier okay do what you can to like minimize like stop like try not to focus on you know the hard part and 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 the like if there is a loss focus on what's to come the good great things that are going to come from that now you did get the moon in your future okay very interesting here especially because uh we do have that uh a uh, full moon in pisces this card is ruled by pisces uh uh at the end of the month okay and so that is going to be um you know saturn is currently in pisces right now uh sagittarius for you that is your um fourth house family okay home too so uh moving could be a thing right now uh, uh family matters could be a thing right now um and even children your kids could be a thing could be you know something that comes up this month all right i already i felt it earlier with uh, you know the five of pentacles in your crown but even still like the moon coming up in your future it really is uh that's it again just trust your intuition i mean it's the moon right trust your intuition uh and it's just it says that you may be going through this challenging month it's gonna be a challenging month based on uh changes that are happening all right but i'm going to show you something here you're that little crayfish you're that little crayfish you gotta go to the ocean you gotta see your buds all right you gotta go past the towers okay so you really got to like face your fears not you know distract yourself uh not uh uh, uh ignore anything that you have to face it's just still gonna be there right i talk about that all the time it's like if you get in a fight with a friend or a family member or whoever right neighbor um and y'all are just like no i'm never talking to you again it was like a really really you know bad fight um and you don't talk to each other and you're just like that's it it's over no it's not over it's still you have that sting in the back of your head it's in your subconscious now and so you actually can't move forward until you actually may have some sort of resolution to it all right so uh and I always say this if you for instance hey if there let's okay we'll use this as an example if there was a fight and both of y'all are just like never talking to each other ever again and both of y'all are still you know it's you're it's, it's still sitting in you you know like you, you you really really need to take care of it if you reach out to that person even if you were right in this situation let's just say like it was an argument about something and you were actually right and you knew it and that's why you're just like, I can't even with this person. Um, if you reach out to that person and they're still like, no, I don't, I never want to talk to you again. Never want to talk to you again. At least, you know, you did the best you could. And then that's lifted off your conscience. Okay. Um, you're, it's, you're going to be in a, this is a very emotional, like, you're going to make me cry, Sagittarius. Um, but it is an emotional month for you. Uh, but it is based on, you know, just changes that are happening in your life. And then, you know, you did get the Knight of Wands clarifying the moon. 
Um, as long as you just, you know, I always say that it's okay to have moments of fear. It's okay to have moments of anxiety. It's, a, it's okay to have, we're human beings, okay? We're human beings. We were built with a range of emotions to feel them, okay? But we feel them so we can overcome them, all right? Those low energy frequencies, right? We feel them to become better versions of ourselves, to learn from them, to grow from them, all right? And it looks like you will. It's like you have this moment and it's just like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Things are a little emotional for me now. But you get back on your horse. And not only do you get back on your horse, I mean, guns ablazing. Like, this is, by the way, knights, mutable. Okay? Wands, fire, Sagittarius. This card is you. Knight of Wands is Sagittarius. You're the mutable uh, fire sign. And so this is just... Boom. It's almost like you hit this emotional speed bump this month, but you get back on your horse and you're like, you're good. And you're like, I'm, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. And it really is this moment of ascension. And it's almost like, hey, this is, it's almost like a fairy tale. When you think, I mean, you're, you're reading as a fairy tale is, is what it is. I mean, starting off with the fool. And then you have this moment, uh, you know, this choice you have to make. You have this really just like, you know, the villain, <laughs> right? And it could even be you. I'm not going to lie, Sagittarius. Remember, I said it, it can be you, but uh, in the opposite, kind of like villain to yourself, you know? Uh, it's almost like a fairy tale here. It's like you have this, and then it's like, ah, there's this climax of like emotions, but then boom, you just move forward. All of this stress comes to an end. I mean, you got the page of cups, this newness, like, so let's go. Uh, let's move on to your staff. Sagittarius. Now, if you like <laughs> Sagittarius, if you like this reading, it'd be so great. If you like subscribe, leave comments. I love hearing from y'all. I want to know what's going on with y'all. Um, and if you are a subscriber, thanks so much for being here. Y'all are amazing. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So I really do appreciate it. And I am truly grateful. So you saw what you got. Like you're like you're literally you're gonna you you're fine. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Sagittarius. It's uh, come on. Come on. Who who does that? Why why are you doing that to me? I'm joking. Where are we now? 32 minutes. Okay, let's do this. You're fine. You're good. Sagittarius, you are mm, you're great, actually. You're great. Look. Queen of Cups, you're fine. You're good. There you go. Hi. Hello. You know, it's really funny because what was coming up for me is that um, ever since we had the changing of the nodes, I feel like, you know, everyone's been going through this shift. But then when you think about what was happening for you particularly, Sagittarius, during that day, we had that new moon in Cancer, and it was in your eighth house, okay? That is the house of transformation, death and rebirth, life cycles. And this is happening during the nodes, which is like, the same thing so it was like amplifying that week for you and so that was like uh so you are going through i'm not gonna lie I've, out of all the signs like one of the biggest like like things are changing for me okay but for the fuck for the better for the best sorry <laughs> for the uh freaking better uh so anyway you got the queen of cups okay who is cancer and that's why i you know i thought about you know that new moon in cancer and uh she is uh you can see her feet in the water water emotions she's completely in touch with her emotions she's the most loving queen she has the most love to give she you know has all this emotional intelligence but she has all this self-love too you're you're great you're amazing because you got the sun Okay, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be one thousand percent fine. I don't get. I don't even. You know. I mean, the sun is all about opportunity, optimism, vitality. I was telling you this earlier. Okay, so remember what I said. You got the fool. You got the uh, lovers card here, right? I said the sun doesn't appear in a lot of cards. You actually just got the sun. So look across your cross here. Okay, you have the lovers. You have the Fool, the Lovers, the Moon, the Knight of Wands, which is you, and the Sun. So 
four major arcanas in your card, okay? And so, again, kind of like a movie or like a fairy tale. It's like right in the middle, you have this like emotional, uh, but it's almost like breakthrough, all right? You have to break through. You have to, it's like facing any fears that come up or challenges, trusting your intuition, trusting your instincts. That's going to get you there. But you got the sun in your external factors area. Come on. This is like a lot of abundance. This is like you're, you have the full powers of the sun, okay? The most powerful symbol in tarot and the most powerful thing in the world, right? Like we are alive, Sagittarius, because of the sun. Our solar system exists because of the sun. I mean, you're, you're good. You're good. This is, you're good. You know in tarot, the sun is the biggest yes, okay? And you did get it in your external influences area, all right? So it's almost like uh, you have all this, you know, uh, sunlight on you uh, uh, in, a, in, in a protective way, in a uh, 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 optimistic way. Like, you're, everything that's happening is happening for the better. Let's just keep it that way. You got the Eight of Swords came up in a part of your spread where it's just like, I do not want that anymore. I do not want to play the victim. This is what we call the self-victim card. I do not want to not face my fears. I, I'm i over it. I'm done. I, I need to move on. So what's happening this month meant to be, okay? It's to empower you, all right? And then lastly, you're good. I mean, you just got the Ace of Wands. Now, this is the biggest ace in tarot, okay? This is uh, an aces out of all the minor arcanas usher in the most new change. So, wands, again, very fiery, very enlivening, very, very lively, but work, okay? This is work, career. They have, I mean, like, when I say career, like, huge, uh, you have this amazing opportunity coming through. So, when I say st don't focus on the losses look toward the gains you have a lot to look forward to okay you do see the leaves sprouting from that one there okay it's like these new seeds being planted uh this is opportunity this is a new path new journey uh, uh just something new coming in all right now again if you're not here for career this is very current you know enterprise career work matters uh which is a big thing happening here uh it's also just your passions. It could also be like ideas that you have where you were maybe had like, uh, what is it called? Like like a mental block, or like uh, like writer's block. That could also honestly like be a thing. I'm not gonna lie. Venus in Leo uh, and the fact we are in Leo season in your ninth house that does rule publishing. If you're writing on a book, if you're writing a book, if you're a creative writer or a magazine writer or anything that has to do with publishing, like that that's a thing okay uh but even still you're good you're good you're absolutely good it's almost like um i'm not gonna lie sagittarius a lot of this is you bringing it up on yourself especially with the five of pentacles in your crown and the three of swords in the root of your spread it's almost like you bring it upon yourself and that's why you have the lovers in the heart of your spread you have this choice to move out of that to to, to empower yourself okay you do have the moon in your future but that's almost like hey you really need to just uh, face any challenges any fears any anxieties that you have because that's what's holding you back and you can move forward and once you let that go i mean you're you you're like who is it uh uh just a fast person <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't think of anything. But, you know, the Knight of Wands right with the sun. Come up. That's huge. That's huge. Nothing stops this knight. Not, he, you see him. You see him. Look at his horse even, like, reared back. Okay? That's uh, absolutely amazing for you. I actually, I 1,000% I, I love that for you. Um, some of y'all could be traveling, too. A lot of travel uh, attached to that card, the Knight of Wands. And then also remember, uh, again, you're all that leo activity and your ninth house which does rule uh long distance travel uh, and then the full moon that's coming up in aquarius in your third house short distance travel so in any case let's break it down like i promised see what's going on for you week by week uh the first week of 
August, we have that full moon in Aquarius. That's going to be a big one. Again, that's in your third house. Has a lot to do with communication, short distance travel. There could be some matters regarding siblings, aunts, cousins, even neighbors. Yeah, there could be things with neighbors uh, that may be a thing. Okay. Um, but uh, but uh, I actually love, you know, this full moon on the same day, Mars is trining Jupiter, which is absolutely amazing. You're definitely going to have something around work around this time, okay? You're definitely going to have something about work around this time. Uh, on the 6th, Sun squaring Jupiter, huge breakthrough moment for you, okay? Huge breakthrough. I love I. It's a great, I love this one. Uh, really love that, uh, that that's happening. Uh, it's just really just it's, it's just have fun. You know, Sagittarius, you're the, the sign of fun. It's almost like a breakthrough in having fun, okay? In having fun for you. Uh, so let's see what's going on for you, Sagittarius, for the first week of August. You're good. So remember how I said that Mars is trining Jupiter on the first and then the sun is squaring Jupiter on the sixth. Jupiter is in Taurus in your sixth house of everyday activities your routines your habits work related matters even health okay there could be some sort of something coming to an end uh conclusion with health uh, around that full moon but hey you got the hierophant who is taurus okay who is taurus ruled by taurus and this is uh there is a lot of uh there's definitely gonna be something something super like work related but even still uh what this is a card where uh the things that are happening this month, especially with Saturn and Jupiter, it really is just making you become this like wiser person, like trusting yourself a little more, having again a sense of freedom, uh, being free. Uh, it's, it's what August is about, okay? Uh, I actually love the fact that you got the hair fun, okay? He is the connector between, you know, the divine and the physical reality, but he's uh, what's really interesting about. The hair font that's coming up for me for what's happening for you is that it's almost like you're getting this confidence to uh be able to it's almost like these changes that are happening in your life are very new to you for a lot of y'all and there are some things that are happening in your life that are just very new that you've never had to deal with or uh come across okay but you're really getting in the groove, okay? That's the biggest message coming up. And it's almost like, and you know, at a point where you are uh, not only more confident with yourself, but being able to spread your knowledge, spread your wisdom, but also just being just more, a lot more spiritually active, all right? Remember, at the, remember what I said, Venus in Leo, Sun in Leo. I mean, this is all in your ninth house of spirituality. So you're good. You're absolutely good. The second week, Venus squaring Uranus. I love this one. Very exciting day. Okay. Uh, I've told y'all we've had some Venus squaring uh, Uranuses and Venus squaring Jupiter. I mean, like, it's this is another one. It's like all these like breakthrough moments uh, that started in June. I really love it. On the same day, Mercury is trining Jupiter. You could hear really good news this day. Okay. One of the best days of, of the week. You could hear really good news. You could uh, actually sign a contract. All right. Remember, you have definitely have something in coming through. Uh, and because on the 13th, we have the sun conjuncting Venus. So we have this amazing Kazemi that's happening that's going to bring you a lot of clarity. A lot of clarity, especially like spiritually. A lot of uh, in terms of... Uh, uh, the, the way that you see things, you're, it's just, you're just, it's a great day. This is a great week and I absolutely love this week. So Sagittarius, let's see what's going on for you for the second, ooh, the second week of, uh, August. I don't feel that's your card, um, that we're going to use as a clarifier. I love that card. I just didn't feel that was your card. Uh, so this is what's going on for you for the second week of August. That's your card. So we're using this as a clarifier, but you got the pair here. You got the high, the, uh, the hair font and the high, well, he is called the high priest, but also the high priestess. You got the pair. 
when I say you're going to be spiritually di like there it is okay there it is yep I don't do jumpers I know I get a lot of questions about that I don't do it I trust my guides who are you know the universe they're guided by the universe so I don't do jumpers I do what I feel is right and I didn't think that was your card but as a clarifier it works this is one of the most beautiful it's it's amazing okay uh there could be well first the high priestess uh you see that you got the moon in your future all right so a lot going on up here but then the high priestess who you know is ruled by the moon okay you even see the sliver of the moon here uh she is the guardian of the subconscious you're gonna be fine you're gonna be fine just really go within she's so spiritual she comes out when she says please go within that's you have all the answers okay you have all the answers to any questions that you have you have all the power inside you all right when it comes to any challenges or uh or, or facing your fears or anxieties dude you're good you just have to you know go within tap into your intuition you're gonna be great i mean literally got the pair the hair font and the high priestess when i say you're going like spiritual y'all are going spiritual okay and then clarifying the high priestess here look at that you got the six of cups it's all about kindness it's all about sharing it's all about a lot of forgiveness energy is coming up it's also uh you know this is a card of nostalgia we, you know we are in a, a, a time where uh so many planets are retrograde but the biggest thing of all venus being retrograde okay matters of the heart now remember what i said venus squaring uranus on the ninth and then the sun conjuncting venus on the 13th like venus is really at play this week okay and so uh, uh venus retrograde in leo matters of the heart this is and that's in your ninth house okay spirituality like you're really going within really connecting uh and then there are uh people from your life coming back into your life people that like former like people and you know it can be uh you know uh it could be anyone at this point if family members colleagues it could be uh former lovers but you know especially with the lovers and they're your challenge uh, in your heart of your spread but uh keep that in mind now the third week of august this is when it gets a little tricky because the sun is squaring uranus it is the most challenging aspect of the month and it's it's the peak this is when it's peaking you may feel it a few days before you may feel it a few days after all right this is a it's a challenging aspect so just be so just be uh prepared for surprises the unexpected uh i think you'll be fine i think you'll be fine because you got the hair fun and the high priestess I, you're gonna be fine okay uh but remember uranus is uh is 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 a planet of surprises all right and it's squaring the sun at this point uh so uh what's really interesting is a day after we have a new moon in leo and this is amazing this is absolutely amazing new moons new beginnings right the same day mars is trining uranus so it's really just what is going on this is so absolutely amazing remember mars in virgo in your 10th house of career and mars is trining uranus in uh taurus in your sixth house which in, uh, which does include work so uh, a big work thing could be a thing for y'all around this time okay it really is just a moment of just again just feeling free feeling free that's what i want you to feel all right so that's a big thing for the third week let's see what's going on for you for the third week of august <laughs> you're good you're good you're actually gonna be really great you're you I remember I said you're gonna have an emotional speed bump you're gonna be fine you just got the eight of wands all right this by the way is mercury in Sagittarius is what this card is attributed to all right so um, uh, you pulled one of your own cards this is uh, one of two cards actually you got the only two cards where there's no figure no person no no it's just one zipping through the air now think about this your sign right your symbol the the archer think of these as arrows okay just whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. so uh it seems like something's going to be coming to an end 
pretty fast for something new to begin is a big energy that's happening remember wands are your passions ideas creativity but also very like very much so very much work related uh, uh enterprise career if that resonates with you if not it definitely it's just passions things you've invested in think like what you're passionate about okay now the last week of july i'm so ooh, the last week of august uh pretty intense there's a lot happening and obviously we'll talk more about all of these you know in my weekly readings but venus is squaring jupiter mars is opposing neptune we're moving into virgo season mars is going uh, mercury is going retrograde we'll definitely talk about that more okay we're going to talk more about that uh during the weekly all right uh, that's happened on the 23rd uh mars is trining pluto powerful day very powerful day i don't even know what to say for, uh like i honestly don't know what to say um mars remember uh what i said mars is uh in virgo in your 10th house of career pluto is in capricorn in your second house of salary keep that in mind sagittarius this is a crazy powerful day a supportive day this is a, a day of personal it's like uh personal it's like empowerment okay very transformative just being very empowered feeling very empowered all right i absolutely love this i love this um and then uh mars enters mars moves into libra on the 27th uranus goes retrograde on the 28th and then we come to the full moon in pisces on the 30th i'm not gonna lie this is a very uh interesting full moon uh it is uh it's an inter let's just say it's an interesting full moon um it's interesting okay it's interesting we'll keep it at that we'll talk about it more it just could be a confusing day for you okay it could be a very confusing day for you uh and it may again have something to do with your home family children it's just a con something may confusing may happen uh, obviously, if you're Sagittarius rising, this is going to have a stronger impact on you than if you are Sagittarius. But just every Sagittarius is going to feel this. But let's see what's going on for you for the last week of August. You're going to be fine. In fact, you're not going to take any BS at this point. After what you, this emotional moment that you've had, you're just like, no, this, no, you're going to be good. You got the Queen of Swords, okay? Head above the clouds. It's almost like just headstrong, uh, just just seeking the truth at this point. Uh, 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 you see there's no water in this card, right? There's like the Queen of Cups. You got two queens, by the way. There's no water in this card. It's like she's left all her emotions at the door. This card is actually ruled by Libra, very similar to the Justice card, okay? Just not all the truth, nothing but the truth. Um, really, really, this is really great. Just being very powerful, authoritative. Um, this is uh, absolutely amazing, especially remember with Mars trining Pluto at this time. Like, wow, big. So, Sagittarius, there you go. There's a reading for August. Oh my goodness. Uh, you're good. You're good. You clearly are going to have this emotional. But you see that you got the sun in your external factors area, you got the Ace of Wands. In your final outcome, you have the Knight of Wands. You, all right, just racing for it's like you get over whatever uh, you trust your intuition. And speaking of which, boom, 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 like you're good. Sagittarius, thanks so much for tuning in. If you like this reading, it'd be great if you like, subscribe, leave comments. Oh my goodness, 53 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna, I, I need to start. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you go. Uh, thanks so much for being here. I'll see you next week. All right, bye bye.